Hey everyone, and welcome to another Stackland Studio Experience. In this video, we are going to be talking about the top 5 best free tools for streamers and their stream. So sit back, grab a soda, and get ready. Do you need a multi-channel network for YouTube? Do you want to make money now? If so, join Scalelab. With a 70-30 split, they are all the rage for those small creators like you and me. Join today for a no lock-in experience and no commitments. Check them out at the link in the video's description. So I need to preface this with a major disclaimer. Some of these tools require special hardware to use. Thus why for each number you may find that I have put multiple items for each group of people. Please don't hate me for this. I was just trying to think of everyone. Thank you. Starting off with number 5 is a great tool for all streamers, especially those who don't need a lot of moderation and also have music. Lunabot is a free program that allows you to authenticate to your Twitch and or Hitbox accounts and allow minimal moderation. It has a built-in follow system for last follow and last subscriber and even shows the active viewer count. On top of all of this, it even comes up and has a music player slash request system. If you want to play music on your stream, moderate, and chat, all with one app, this is for you. Number 4 is very obvious. You have your system now set up to monitor chat, play your music, and now you need a program that you can stream with. I got you man, I got you. For those console players with an Elgato capture card, and the link is in the video description if you don't have one yet, you are in a lot of luck. The Elgato Game Capture HD program, Beta 3.5, has all you need to get set up and running. It supports multiple scenes, audio mixing through the Elgato Sound Capture app, and multiple overlays. It's slick and better than anything that the competition is laying out. If you are on PC and you want heavy customization, however, you definitely want to use OBS Studio. While it has some issues and isn't really a studio app, it gets the job done and has the fresh price of free with a side of headaches. If you're on the PC and don't really care about overlays, scenes, or anything like that, and you have a NVIDIA graphics card, you can now use Shadowplay to broadcast your gameplay straight to any RMTP server of your choosing. With built-in options like Facebook Live, Twitch, and YouTube, you can be set in just a few minutes to go live and start having fun. Number 3 may just tip you off to what you're all about, because number 3 is called Tippy Stream. Allowing you to sign into all of your favorite services, from YouTube to Twitch to Hitbox and even now supporting Beam Pro. It allows you to accept donations, much like Twitch alerts, but it works for all of the aforementioned sites. See follows, subs, bits and more in real time and even customize the layout and look of every alert. If you want, they also offer a scene builder tool where you can build your very own scene to look professional and use only one scene across many programs. Check them out today to make your stream meet its tipping point into greatness. Number 2 is the tool to beat all tools, if I might say so myself, created by yours truly and a few of my friends, Do I Have the Rights, is a tool for creators of all types to find out if they have the rights to stream and record their content to be posted on the internet. Check it out today and find out if you have the rights. Finally, number one is a tool that I use every time I stream because it just works. Joycaster, now known as Switchboard Live, is a free program similar to Restream, but it actually works. 
stream at the actual bitrate, which is sadly only up to 3500 kbits per second in the free version, with no downtime to three services at once. I love Joycaster and recommend it to anyone starting a stream. It's clean, easy to use, and maintain. And it even has a built-in chat system, although you can't reply to specific services, like you can with Lunabot. Title, game, stream, and more with this free tool, and you will never lose the joy of streaming again. So thank you all for watching, and if you liked, please click the subscribe button, and at the end of this video, be sure to check out some of my other content if it suits you. And as always, thank you again for watching, and I will hopefully see you in the next one.